So what we're going to do right now is uh, replace a capacitor on a Genie screwdrive garage door opener. And uh, this is what a capacitor looks like. You see here I have two different ones. And one is shorter and one is longer. And when you're purchasing your capacitor, you have to be sure you get the right one because they have uh, a few different numbers on there. So this capacitor has been used on Genie Motors for a long time. I think back from the 70s all the way up to like 2005 or 2008. I'm not sure what date. So this is going to work on a wide range of Genie openers, especially the screw drive. So we have here a screw drive motor. And I'll show you what happens when I push the button. See, that's all we're getting right now. And the motor's not running. So the capacitor is basically the motor starter. And uh, the tools you're going to need basically is a uh, flathead screwdriver and probably a uh, quarter inch hex head socket. Okay, so first thing, uh, also you're going to need a ladder because uh, your motor is going to be mounted. And uh, you don't really need to take the motor down to replace the capacitor. So you're going to have to get a ladder and uh, be careful when you're going up there you don't fall down. <laughs> so first thing you're going to do is take the cover off. And before you take the cover off, what you want to do is unplug the motor. Okay, that's the most important thing. You don't want to get an electric shock. So we unplug the motor first thing. Okay, and then you have four screws located on the motor head holding the cover down. And uh, they're, they're a black screw like this, and it has the quarter inch hex head that we're going to use. You could also use a Phillips, but uh, the socket works better. And the screws are located one on each corner here, and two at the bottom, usually. And there's usually four of them. And uh, this cover here is a red genie cover. Your cover also might look similar to this, or it might be gray or green or any other color they had out. So first thing we'll pull the cover off. So now that I got the cover off we're going to proceed with our operation here and replace the capacitor. And uh, if you notice there's a little circle right here on the capacitor and you have four wires and they're all different colors and you want to put the wires back exactly in the same spot. Now, if you switch them up, it might still work, but you don't want to do that. You want to keep everything the way it was when the manufacturer sent it out. So, what you do is you're going to pull each wire out and put it back in concession here with the clips. So, first we'll start with this wire, pull it out, put it back in the same spot like that. You see the circle there and the circle there. I'm matching the way they look. So then I'll take the one next to it, pull that off, and then, oops, that one came off too. Put it there. So you don't get mixed up. That's why you do them one by one. And then this one, I already know, is on this spot here. So that goes there. And the last one goes here. Yeah, they're kind of tight. You have to be careful when you're pulling wires out not to pull the connection from the wire. So now we have the new capacitor here hooked up. And then this one is still mounted to the motor. And once again, there's another screw holding this down. It's also a quarter, quarter head socket. And uh, it's a silver in color. And it's right down here. I can't move the camera right now, but you just loosen it up. And then you can pull this right out. There it goes. Then you can slide this one in its place. And then you tighten the screw back down. Now we're going to test our new capacitor. See if it works. Plug the motor in. And then let's try it out. All right, success. Now, you're going to put your cover back on, and you're all set. 
And after you get the cover on and you run the motor, the cover might be jiggling around. So what you're going to do is uh, adjust the screws. After you run the motor, you can move it this way and that way so it's not making so much noise. And then you'll be all set.